Good luck, have fun, gentlemen. We Both are gonna have Gatekeeper fun. versus Smitty. Both players are moving out their MCVs. And this is yep. something that Quendi didn't do. But let's talk about the players. Smitty, mm -hmm. as mentioned, is from Oklahoma. So it's six in the morning for him. He doesn't mind, however, having to play this early. He specified that. He started playing last summer, so he's not really that long. It's just over, mm -hmm. just uh, about a year or so. And it's a Reddit thread that I had advertising my tournament of last year. Uh, that he uh, saw me on the radar and he was like, okay, I'm gonna have a look at this. And he saw the competitive play and he was like, yeah, I like this. I wanted to do this too. Uh, he started playing, uh, it was Spam losing versus Barf. Uh, to, they've got into a respectable level. And his favorite thing is a great active and proactive community. I've only been around for a year and it feels like everybody knows me now. Not a bad feeling to be on the top 25 on the planet in something. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Gatekeeper now, asserting dominance by killing by killing the snowman here. Yes. Now, which actually explodes. Gatekeeper has something else to fight for other than the prize pool because he is the reigning champion. He won last year's tournament. He's from Holland, mm -hmm. so if he wins this tournament, just like last year, he's gonna be sitting next to me on the couch and we're gonna have a beer, or a five. <laughs> he started playing like two and a half years ago and competitively ever since uh, he found a scene to play. He used to be an underdog among players like Morto, Spy, uh, V Christian, Frame, Barf and other players from that era, but he always tried to bite as hard as he could. Uh, favorite thing are cool dudes, maybe dudettes, probably, to hang out with, not only in-game but in real life as well, uh, as he's already made a trip to Berlin to meet Mori Driver and Kazoo for beers, and of course, myself as well. What I'd like to mention is that both of these players are in Masters, and now, Smitty has just um, made the climb to Masters a reality for himself. He's nice. gonna be there next, next season, and Gatekeeper came in second in the Masters division. Just after Lorry Driver. Yeah. It was kind of surprising, but he took games of all the all the bigger players. Except Han, apparently. Oh, I, I have to watch those. I didn't didn't even watch those. Yeah, Han was another one who has kind of kind of managed to get some upset victories. I was surprised to seeing Han being so effective. We're seeing a double ref cell um, into War Factory for Gatekeeper and Smitty. He's a bit behind here on the builds because he went for a double barracks early on. So the ranger is not gonna do much. There is too much army mass. Yeah. Recognizes that. Maybe he's gonna pick off these two infantry, but that's it. And yeah. Smee so is already responding. Gatekeeper that's moving the, out. The entire extent of this he's gonna get here. Smitty doesn't have a defensive structure queued up. Oh, he's gonna get another rocket soldier for himself if he's attentive. No, he's no. gonna move, he's gonna run out of there. Third refinery for, uh, for Smitty here. Mm -hmm. Super eco-heavy. Uh -huh. But on a map like this, I'm not surprised. Yeah. And that's a cheese push for Gatekeeper. They want to punch, light tank, ranger, lots of infantry, lots of rocket soldiers. He's trying to inflict some early damage here. I guess so. He's got uh, scouting over here in the uh, ore patch in the middle and over there as well. And over here, but that is, I believe, Smitty's. Yes. The Smitty's actually spotting in as Germany. Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, Gatekeeper picked Britain. He did, yeah. Let me, yeah. S let me check that real quick. Let me verify that. Smitty went random allies and Gatekeeper picked England deliberately. So we're gonna have the ranger already having scouted the infantry, and Smitty is gonna Smitty is gonna have a ranger for himself as well, though. Uh -huh. So this engagement is no, not a good engagement for Gatekeeper. Rocket soldier inside. He's... Was that rocket soldier inside of Gatekeeper's uh, ranger? I think mm -hmm. I saw it pop out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's there's... a big loss here <coughs> for Gatekeeper. A... Yeah, there's not enough mass for uh, Gatekeeper to push through here. What happened was he thought he would have had to jump on, on Smitty because Smitty had, didn't have his ranger there. But as soon as he started the engagement, Smitty brought his ranger in 
and he got the line of sight as well. So it was it was an even fight, and Smitty just has more mass. Now he's gonna have a problem because Smitty is deploying in his backyard. Oh boy. Um, so he's got an expansion out himself, so which he hasn't scouted, which he, which he has scouted <laughs> for, that it doesn't get interrupted. A question from oh ooh, sorry, if I may, a question from Quinny mm -hmm. is that the first matchup between him and Mo was that like a completely non-league related matchup? Um. Quendi and Mo. No, no, that was just that was a tournament matchup. It yeah. was not in the league, obviously. Yeah. No, but uh, neither players are in the league. I, I know that Quendi isn't, but Mo. Quendi is. I think he is in the league in one of the lower divisions, right? I don't know. Could be. But at least uh, if Quendi had won, he would have had a chance for the Masters seed if he won the tournament. Yeah, uh, if he had won the entire tournament, yes. <laughs> well, that was a, a far-fetched stream, I guess. Look That's at the mass. Look at the mass that Quendi here. has. Or that's Smitty. not Quindy, that's Smitty. That's Smitty, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking of Quindy and all of my friends. <laughs> yeah, Quindy, 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 Quindy. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is bad for, for Gatekeeper, though. No, oh, Quindy never joined the league. Okay. Yeah, Gatekeeper's in a spot of trouble here. Poor Gatekeeper Bears might have lost game one right here, right now. Uh, depends on what he can do with that little expansion to the top right, though. But uh, he, he's gonna much. be behind. He's gonna be behind. No, him. he's not gonna get the critical mass to push this out anymore. Nope. Like, no matter what he does, if Smitty just fortifies uh, into his face, which he then does. he's gonna have to concede, yeah. And that's GG. Gatekeeper GG already very taken. Very quick. Probably. Good luck, have fun. Here we go. Alright, what are you going to see this time? So, as we've talked about this yesterday, you have to prevent yourself from getting locked out. Uh -huh. And have you seen Gatekeeper play a cheese push? Uh, do me. Have you ever seen Gatekeeper play cheese style? Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. Okay. Because his cheese is mostly very interesting. You'll see, because I'm already smelling some cheese here. Okay. Yep. Well, I've got a stuffy nose, so I can't smell anything. Har 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 har. <laughs> You're Dutch, though. Yeah. Don't you have an innate... Isn't that the, the Dutch innate ability to smell cheese? No, I have cheese in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like bad bad for your cholesterol values. Uh, it's, uh, it's, di it's, it's very light on fat, though. <laughs> It's not old cheese. What is Gatekeeper banking on here? Well, he's moving out of his infantry, all of it. Yeah, but nice... that's a that's the oil derricks that do not belong to him. He has a shorter distance to the other one, so naturally he would, one would assume that she'd go to the other set of derricks. Oh wait, this is Gatekeeper. I'm looking at Smitty. <laughs> I'm not awake either. <laughs> And Smitty is alerted to the presence here. Yeah. <clears throat> Knows what's happening. Moving his entire squad into formation. Depends on whether or not Gatekeeper's infantry is moving at the time of the engagement. Uh, they Two, are. Three, four down. So far favoring Smitty. Uh -huh. And there is still a lot of firepower where that came from. Yep. Gatekeeper actually pushing, uh, pulling his uh, engineer out of there. That was a good engagement though. Oh, the force fire. Well, he's moving his infantry out. He's trying mm -hmm. to like keep him alive, but he's gonna lose that uh, infantry. Yep, and the medic is not gonna go down. Medic just healing up his boys. Uh -huh. So we're seeing a 12 over 8 score. Pretty good. And the cheese push for Gatekeeper has been deflected. Sadly. I like what um, what Smitty is doing here. He has kept his two refineries. He hasn't sold them, because in the late game, those two ore mines are pretty far apart. So if you only have one harvester and one ore refinery, you have quite the traveling distance. Uh -huh. Costs you mining time. I see. Well, Smitty's capturing his oil derricks there, and uh -huh. now Gatekeeper's capturing his oil derricks. I see another ranger. 
Gatekeeper might get a snipe on the engineer if he's fast enough. No, he doesn't want to go for it. Well, there's a lot of infantry there, though. Mm -hmm. They are always going for mass infantry. Infantry is just so good in this game. Mm -hmm. It's the DPS. And we're seeing the move out after four harvesters by Gatekeeper. Light tank push as well. He's having none of this. He doesn't want to get locked out. Nope. Smitty's waiting. Maybe, though. maybe he's gonna take the natural expansion of Smitty. He's gonna try and lock him out. No, okay, he's going for his natural. That would be an interesting move, though. Huh? We're seeing only one rocket soldier here, so the light tank can be effective. Uh huh. And crush. Crush. Yep. But there is the rocket soldier. And there goes the light tank. There goes the light tank. So again, just not successful for gatekeeper. Nope. Doesn't find anything here. No. And oh, he can find picks on the rocket soldiers. That's a good move. Ooh. Gotcha. That's very expensive as well. That's a lot of manpower bleed. One of those costs you 300. Now Smitty's moving out with everything over there. Getting a medic. Ooh, the, the Ranger Micro is quite nice, I have to say. The Ranger finding flanks here. And she's probably going to find a flank on the, on the Ranger of Smitty as well. Maybe. But Smitty is Very losing good. a lot of infantry here. Mm hmm. And the ranger by gatekeeper is just tangling up the infantry in an engagement. Yeah. Here comes the collapse though. Ranger should book it. And he is. No, it's gonna. Oh! It's gonna try. Oh! No. He's going Thank back you. in for the ranger of Smitty. Doesn't get it. Super close. Bang. Yeah. In this engagement. Two light tanks for gatekeeper now. Mm hmm. Engagement still favoring Smitty. Mm hmm. So we might Gatekeeper is going for a cheese capture. I'm, I'm really hoping that Gatekeeper takes this, because it would be a shame to see him get kicked out of the first round already. It would be indeed. I mean, at least let him reach the semi-finals. Let him, yeah, let him go to semi-finals, that would be fair. Yeah, that would be fun, not just fair. Right, what's Smitty doing with his expansion though? Man. Smitty is just rolling over Gatekeeper here. Yeah, what the hell? Gatekeeper has been up since 7 his uh, our time, which is like 6 hours ago. Smitty just doesn't have... Uh, Gatekeeper just doesn't have the answer for Smitty's play here. Nope. Jeez. Oh, the light tanks are flanking and they have found the construction vehicle. Oh, but it has deployed regardless. Yeah. Here goes the expansion for Gatekeeper and that's probably... Game? Wow! It survives on a pixel of health. Oh, it's. It is the only Collier that he has. It is. His, and now he's got a second war one, but it doesn't Look matter regardless. This. If this expansion falls, Gatekeeper's out of the game. Yeah, and he's out of the tournament, sadly. Uh huh. Yeah, and he's gonna get kicked out of the game here. There is nothing he can do. Mm -hmm. Another pillbox coming in. Heavy base push by uh, Smitty here. Laying on the hurt. Not like this. Gatekeeper. Not like this indeed. More power plants for the tanking power. Uh -huh. The ore trucks by Gatekeeper going down, so he's down to five ore trucks. And an almost dead Ponyard. Yeah. Yeah, no, mate. Gatekeeper knows what's up. Fucking GG! Fucking GG! Wow! GG! Wow! Such quick games! We've seen a 7 minute 40 game and now we're seeing a 7 minute 30 game. Dude, it's always base pushy.